Let's simplify the fraction 50 125ths, 50 over 125. And what we want to do is we want to end up with another fraction that is equal to 50 divided by 125. It's just that we've simplified or reduced that fraction down to lowest terms. So when I look at this, what I need to do is find a common factor, the greatest common factor that goes into both 50 and 125 evenly, a whole number. I know that 25 would go into 50 and 125. 50 divided by 25 is 2, and then 125, when I divide that by 25, I get 5. So when we reduce the fraction 50 125ths, we get 2 fifths. We can't reduce this any further. And these are equivalent. Divide 2 by 5 or 50 by 125, you get the same decimal. They're equivalent. It's just that we reduced 50 125ths down to 2 fifths. You could have also divided 50 by 5, 125 by 5, you would have got another fraction that you then could simplify down to 2 fifths. That would work as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.